know that Let's stand and raise the Lord this evening, please. Thank you. This was in 1990. Yeah. Hey, come here and take a real shot. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
time to receive a prayer request. Also, when we're, when we're having a prayer request, we're going to have a praise report, but, but if it's possible, and if it's not possible, I'm going to throw, I got a horseshoe to throw at Stephen. And I got ninja stars to throw at, and ninja stars to throw at Penny. Can y'all in like maybe one or two sentences? No. All right, three then at the most. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey. I need that much. You need that much? I need that much. <laughs> you, can, you can have that much later, but just for right now, just for right now, can you uh, that much? <laughs> remember, remember when they told that one, that was one time where they said, you got this much time? And I said, no, we don't. We got that much time. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes their clock was wrong because they said we have that much time in, 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 in the bell right. <laughs> <laughs> But they can find the bell. Uh, okay. Well, all right. Just maybe just a sentence or two. Just describe just describe your weekend in just a sentence or two. Well, I want to tell about the miracle. Or tell about the miracle too. That's a, that's a testimony. Yeah. Okay. Tell about the, first. Describe your weekend and tell about the miracle. Weekend was mind blowing. Uh, it was an awesome experience. Like Sister said, you can't really describe it in words. You got to experience it. That's right. But if you can go through that weekend and not cry, we'll take you down to Paul and let him get you fit. <laughs> uh, it was awesome. Just Absolutely. totally awesome. Was it worth it? If you ain't been, go. <laughs> if you don't want to go, we'll draft you. We've done that before too. Okay, let's tell about your miracle. Saturday, uh, Friday night, yeah, Friday night, David came up to me and said that my daughter had, was having spinal uh, uh, pressure on the brain and she was in real bad shape and they didn't know what was gonna happen. So I went back and fretted a little bit and he went back to David and said, we need prayer. So he took me out to the center and put me down in the chair, which was good because I'd have fell down to the ditch. And 40 men gathered around me and started praying. The Holy Ghost come down strong, oh, yeah. strong as I've ever felt the Holy Ghost come down. <laughs> and what was it, an hour later, I mean, sometime later, David tells the group that she went to the hospital, they checked her out and found nothing. Everything yeah. checked out. And that was, yeah. that was the first miracle. The second one, I'm going to tell on Nick. <laughs> Nick did not ha had not ever had a Holy Ghost experience. He was at the back of the crowd and put his hands on the boy in front of him. And he said he knew there was nobody behind him, and all of a sudden somebody, something grabbed his hand and squeezed three fingers together, and he couldn't get it loose. And he jumped back and turned around and looked, and there wasn't nobody there. <laughs> he was scared to tell us what had happened. And when he finally told one boy who was sitting at my table, and the boy told me, I told Nick, because we went out there for a smoke break, and I told Nick, I said, that was the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I said, you best get prepared because he's coming again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sunday, Nick got rebaptized. Oh, yeah. Yep. That was a miracle. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, just yeah. Yeah. they said he was looking for a way out of there Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he didn't want to go. Yeah. He said he did not want to go. He had told his girlfriend to text Linda and tell her he won't go. She did. And Linda wrote back and said, and she didn't say it like quite like he said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, 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 she used some slang, but she didn't use that word, but she used some slang. And, but still, she said, get your mess together and let's go. And he said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and your mama was serious. Mm. Uh, I'd like to say something. Go ahead. It's amazing how many people say, I'm going to get there. I didn't want to go. I tried not to go. Mm -hmm. Satan tried to stop me. In some way, something happened. Whether it's women's <coughs> fault or the men's fault, something tried to stop you from going. Mm -hmm. But God prepared you and got you there anyway. That's yes. right. Yes. Yes. Whatever he wanted there to stay there. It was awesome, man. It was awesome. I got to say, it was awesome. <coughs> and don't say you're too young or too old, because we had 18 and 90 there. Well, one table had an 18-year-old and a 90-year-old at the same time. Yeah. Um, as you know, when we went on our walk last year, 
we couldn't say anything to our mates. That's right. And it was so hard because <laughs> you were so overjoyed and so excited. You wanted to tell them everything, but we knew if you did, it would ruin everything. That's so right. When we come home Sunday night, that TV was not cut on. <laughs> we sat there and actually talked. You know, <laughs> about everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. That's right. Me and Linda, 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 she wish she had been there to see all the going on with the boys. But DC told me on Thursday, on Friday morning, about, about lunchtime, he said, "Wow, you, you, you punched right in the throat, right to start with, with that priorities." And I said, "It was a, they joked." He said, "They joked, but the, ser the message was so serious, mm -hmm. you know." And 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 uh, that DC and Nick both just the Lord really worked on both of those guys. It was really awesome. Plus, it worked on everybody else. But that we worked on. Yeah. Look, matter of fact, if, if it's like this, if, if, Christ, if as long as your head leaks, it won't swell. <laughs> you're swell. You, you got you got about two or three years for your swell again. You got and, that yeah, right. And you do too. You got and, it. <laughs> yeah. But now we were gonna help with Nick's baptism. Cause DC and I were gonna each grab a hold of him. Put Chuck throw him in the creek. And Linda got a hold of him. And tie tie a rope to him. Pull him back in. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Bill, <laughs> Bill. Hey, I want to give him a prayer report. Go ahead, give us a prayer report. Well, I went to see my doctor today. It's been nine months since his knee was operated on. Yes, sir. He took a picture and showed it. He said, I ain't never seen one in the pretty as that. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so he closed your eyes. So he closed his eyes and I pulled it up. Pants leg up where you could see the incision, and you just can't see the incision. They put it, and I said, You use the thinner blade here to get them. You got a big kick out of that. But then I got a good report, don't have to go back and go back awesome. for a year. That's awesome. Mr. Bill, you know why? Because you're a good man. Good, good, I don't know about it. Yes, thank you, God. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, they told us what happens in the mail stays in the mail, so you can't tell it so much. But this is a it's a known fact now. These women can't keep secret. <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> but you know, when we started, I was skeptical. Frank wouldn't tell me anything about it, and I said, well, you know, this thing sounds kind of like a secret board. I don't know if I can get it. Yeah, it was And the way the way you pick. Wayne picked us up and carried us down there, and we rode right by the Camp Carolina sign. We said, Oh, Wayne, stop. There it is. There it is. He said, I got to go down the road a minute and uh, ask the man for some directions. So he rode down past Car Carolina, and then he drug out these great big paper bags from Food Line. Yes, he said, Magic Mark. Uh -huh. He said, Draw them down what your face looks like. <laughs> what you think? Then he made a stick them over our heads <laughs> and drove back to the camp. And, and they took them off before I could take a picture. <laughs> but, uh, was, uh, That's because he was ashamed of us. <laughs> <laughs> that reminded me, I, I told him, that Thursday night you didn't really want to be there. But you didn't think you did. And uh, we were, uh, went through some kind of stuff for an hour or so, and it was getting dark and getting near bedtime, and they told us, from now on, you need to be quiet. <laughs> I mean, be quiet. We don't hear any noise. I mean, that, that's a dead son to me. I don't know if y'all can do that or So we did. We just we we quiet all night. We just quiet out of the chapel the next morning. And that was kind of like, you know, the calm before the storm. Yeah. yeah. And then, then Friday morning, it, just, it was kind of like an a earthquake. It started warming up in the, in the cold. And then later in the day, got the water, got in the court of that earthquake. And by Sunday afternoon, boom, that thing erupted. I know, I think they had called the TV station, the news would come down there, there was some phenomenon going on in there, and they couldn't figure it out. It about to put the planets in. And they never have figured it out yet, but if they go, I'm a, I'm a they'll go for one week, I mean, for one session. And then there's some things that just happen, you know. 
No. DC no. and I went together. We raised through tears, preacher. <laughs> <laughs> raised, the, raised the water and went over that Dawson, Dawson's Creek by about two inches just yeah. like that. That's, right. That's right. He just said it in the closing. He said, Me and DC raised that work, raised that river at least two inches. And I said, We're not going to tell you how. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Else. I'll tell you something. Else. <laughs> Sunday morning, when we had breakfast, I said, I'll have some apple juice. And the pastor was actually serving me. And he took the bottle and said, This has been under my bed all week. <laughs> and I told him when I drank it, I said, You need to go to the doctor. <laughs> and we went up there just so tired. They, they need to go. Y'all need to go on the legs. Yeah. Okay, well, you come back with a smile on your face. Yes, it's good. Not a disgusted smile. So remember Stone Crush will stand in your Let's pray. Father, I love you, Lord. I praise your name. I thank you for your grace and your mercy. You're an awesome God. You're an old time God. You're a powerful God. Lord, I ask you, Lord, to touch these parents that are grieving over the loss of their son. I ask you, God, to minister to them mightily right now. I thank you, Jesus. Send somebody their way, Lord, that can show them and guide them and help them, Lord. And most of all, Lord, send your spirit. Father, I ask you, Lord, to touch, Lord, this other family where the man has shot this woman, his wife, I ask you, Lord, to minister there in a very powerful way. God, I thank you, Lord, for bringing uh, our sister's son through this heart attack, Lord. I thank you for uh, uh, Brother Billy and his knee and how the doctor was amazed at his knee, how good it was. And I thank you, God, that you're still in the miracle business. You're still working in miracles. I ask you right now, Father, that I thank you for these guys that went to a I thank you, God, that your lives were enriched, Lord. And I thank you, God, for what you're doing with them, Lord. Lord, touch each and every one of us, God. And I thank you, Lord, that the wives got a chance now to talk about this amazement, too, Lord. Father, I love you and I praise your name. I thank you for your grace, your mercy. I thank you for all you're doing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The church said, Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right. All right, Brother Benny. Pull up here. Are you ready to sing? Hey. You don't want him to say anything like that. That's all I'm trying to do. Serenade with vision. All the better serve the king. Come on, Benny. I stood beside you about this thing. Put the swing in the way. Seems like a door from nowhere, like, didn't they? All right, Steve. Then the phone, we thank you for the opportunity we had to be in this church house today. As we bring back this portion of our tithes and offerings, we ask that they be used for you. Others will tend the phone. So they too may know your grace and your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.